traveling traveling I do love traveling and here we are once again away from home I came back from China one month ago but I couldn't stay home any longer so I welcome you to Austria and here we are in the capital city of Austria Vienna I'm here for three main reasons my sister moved here last February February 2018 she lives here she works here and I wanted to see what what she does second my friend Dela, a girl I met in China during the Panda Hug, you might remember the picture which was an, a very amazing picture I took there, lives here also and she'll be staying here for a few months and tonight we're going to have dinner together. Last but not least, this is an amazing European capital city and since I've always been traveling so far away from home, I wanted to do a shorter flight and see this amazing city. Here in the back you can see Karlskirche, the first monument I'm visiting right now. I'm wearing the Swiss football national team shirt because tonight they're playing their second match and it's World Cup fever, guys. I truly believe they're gonna make it. They stopped Brazil 1-1 and I do believe they're gonna make it tonight. Okay, now get ready to meet my sister and my mother who also came here with me. Here we are. Hello everybody! I'm Luca's sister, I'm pastry chef here at the Grand Hotel Wien and I'm really glad to have my family here. Hi! Non parlo English! <laughs> no, I non parlo English, però bello, molto bello qui! In this city you can discover Mozart, Klimt, but also sweets and pastry. This is why I'm at the Sacker Hotel and right here there is the Sacker Cafe where you can find the best soccer cake in Vienna. I want to try it. So before trying the cake uh, and reviewing the cake, my sister is going to describe what a soccer cake looks like and how it is made. So you want all the details? All the details. All the details, right. So this is a very famous cake all around the world. It's very famous. It's a simple chocolate cake. It's a biscuit cut in the middle with some apricot jam and it's covered with some chocolate bagel. So, and basically... You, you can please show the cake, the yeah, camera. Please do it. So, and you can see, normally it's not that soft and, and, and uh, like... Uh, it's kind of dry? Yeah, it has to be a little bit dry because of the recipe and that's why it's served with some cream. <laughs> My mother doesn't like it. Do you like it? <laughs> okay, my review is going to be pretty straightforward. As you can see, there is a line standing on the sidewalk waiting for uh, the cake. The cake is pretty dry. Uh, I prefer more creamy uh, sweets. Uh, they're just small, small layer of jam. And uh, yeah, I don't discuss the original recipe, which uh, according to the story was created in 1832 by Franz Sacker. Ladies, are you ready for the St. Stephen Church? Yes. After walking down on a pedestrian area on a street called Kantenstrasse, we reached St. Stephen Cathedral, which is right there behind me. We're going to visit very, very soon. Talking about tonight, we're going to have dinner at a very special restaurant. I got this suggestion from a colleague. The name of the place is Figelmüller. They opened in 1905, if I remember it right, and they have the typical Wiener schnitzel or fried meat. I just can't wait to try that. It was supposed to be warmer, but uh, it kind of looks like autumn to me. So I'm wearing long sleeves and uh, just yesterday it was like 30 degrees and today when we landed at the airport, 14 degrees, less than the half. It's been a while since I last entered an Art Rock Cafe and here we are, Art Rock Vienna. Outside it started raining, I hope it's gonna end soon and uh, in a couple of hours we're gonna meet with Dela and we are going to have that fantastic dinner schnitzel I was talking about just a while ago. Okay, I'm lucky. As soon as I said it, it stopped raining. No more water from the sky. We do have the water right here, the Danube. Now we're gonna walk along the river and I'll see you in just a while. So we're going to uh, Schottentor. There's a 
there's a church and there's the main part of Vienna where all the universities are. And if you keep walking, there will be the Rathaus and the Parliament. So it's going to be really amazing. That's my favorite part in Vienna. Rathaus means town hall, right? Yeah. First it's sunny, then it's rainy, then sunny, and now it's cloudy. I don't get it. By the way, right behind me is the city town hall, and in front of it you can see Kofburg Theater. The city of Vienna, like many northern cities in Europe, is bike friendly. As you can see, I'm walking on a green line, followed by red lines, and I should be careful. Looks like they decided to renovate the old city during this period of time. Just like the town hall we just saw, this is the parliament and there's no way to get any closer, unfortunately. I'm not going to visit the inner part of the opera to see a show which is one of the best in Europe and maybe one of the best in the world. But Dela told me she got some tickets for Sunday night uh, to hear some classical music and I'm really looking forward to see that show. I don't have much details, but as soon as we meet her, I will give you more. <laughs> me and the ladies just arrived in Marie Therese's Platz. <laughs> is she Marie Therese? I think she is. <laughs> I don't know her, but that's what they say. She looks like Marie Therese. And behind us is the Museum of look, Natural look. History. She's what? saying, take a look at the hand, she's saying, of course it's me. That's the gesture, of course, I'm, I'm Marie Trees. Okay, let's take some pictures together because I don't want to look like, like I'm traveling alone. So here is the restaurant, it's a bit too early and Dela is joining us soon, but they're waiting for us at about 8.30. I have to find a place to watch the beginning of the match Switzerland-Serbia because I'm too excited and I cannot miss it. I don't think they have a television inside. Here is the update, we are losing one to zero. That is the TV, we're watching the match. Since there's nothing I can do to change the result, we can all go have the Tebelus, Wiener Schnitzel. Dela is on our way here. In a few minutes, she'll be here. And then we will go to the other restaurant. I don't know what to say. So, here is the Wiener Schnitzel. Here is Dela. You're gonna meet her tomorrow, we're gonna talk more. <laughs> Look it's, like a, it's like as large as a pizza. It's a frisbee, you can play it. <laughs> so, like the Germans say, Guten Appetit. <laughs> Switzerland, Switzerland, Switzerland. We won, we won, two, one. <laughs> Come on, join, let's go, yay! I'm going back to the hotel, day is over. Tomorrow I'm gonna meet Dela and we're gonna see some amazing monuments and stuff uh, i'm not anticipating anything so i'll just see you tomorrow good morning it's saturday june the 23rd and i'm about to meet dela at karnsplatz which is uh, almost 10 minutes on foot from my hotel i'm still so happy about yesterday night for the swiss national football team that won the match about tonight tonight I'm gonna eat at a very special restaurant. My sister works here for the Grand Hotel Wien and in that hotel there is a one-star Michelin restaurant called Le Ciel, which means the sky. Hello everybody, me and Dela are right in front of the Belvedere where a huge collection of Klimt is there to see. So Dela, can you tell us something about the, the place? It was, a, it was a short tram ride to Carlsplatz. <laughs> Only four stops on the D-line. Yeah, that's all I got. It's beautiful. It's cold today. It's 20 degrees. <laughs> it's not summer. It's cold here. <laughs> so we're going to buy the ticket and we're going to see the inside, which should be amazing. I have the ticket in my hand. With this ticket, we will visit the upper Belvedere and the lower Belvedere. I was thinking about finding a structure divided into two floors, referring to the upper part and the lower part, but actually, 
the lower Belvedere is down there. There is a park in the middle of the two structures and right behind me is the upper Belvedere. We will start with this one and then we will walk all the way down to the lower Belvedere. I would have said this one was by Klimt because of the color and it's not. Actually, it's not. So, as you can see, I'm a true expert of art. I'm not saying anything else about that. In this building, you can find a lot of temporary and permanent collection. Behind me is one of the masterpieces, which is the Kiss by Gustav Klimt. And of course, a hundred of Chinese people taking pictures. Of course, if you don't eat cereals, fruits and yogurt, this is how you might end while sitting on a toilet. See? This is the expression. After spending many hours in Belvedere, here we are at Nash Markt. Right behind me, the ladies are sitting on the bench. This market is more than 500 years old and has more than 100 stops to uh, eat something or buy stuff. Let's go discover the market. The story of this market began in the 16th century. At that time, only bottles of milk could be found. Hilarious moment here at the Nash Market. Say whatever you want. She's the queen of England. <laughs> and I'm a true motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sunday morning and it's another beautiful day even though the weather hasn't changed. Do you recognize this music? It's called The Marriage of Figaro and I'm going to visit the apartment where Mozart, the composer, lived for three years here in the city. After that I'll be visiting the most famous public park here in Vienna which is called the Prater. I will see you later. Just a month ago I was in Shanghai at Disneyland, of course this is not comparable, but here we are, Prater, Vienna. That's the panoramic wheel and there are so many other attractions and we're gonna do them all. Let's grab the ticket. <laughs> Okay, this is the Superman, the Man of Steel! <laughs> ready to fly, Dela? I am ready. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel safe. It'll be fine. I actually don't feel safe. Fine. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God! Ah! My head hurts. I don't want to. Oh my mom. Oh no, no, no. They are lifting us to 80 meters. You can see the surrounding. Oh. Church. Oh no, are you crazy? No. Oh my gosh, it's so high. Let's take a look. Below, <laughs> bad idea. Mm -hmm. I, uh, knew I knew I had to stay no, home no, today. No, no, no. Okay, 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 it's going, it's going, I know it's going. <laughs> oh my god. Are you ready, Dela? Let's do this. It has to be. Just do it. So, it gets loose. So, it gets loose. Okay, great.
crazy! I'm fucking crazy! Why did I do this? <laughs> you wanna do that again? Uh, <laughs> oh, it's so uh, beautiful! Yeah. Again! Woo! Again! Woo! Oh, Woo! Shit. <laughs> oh god! It's a bad idea! <laughs> After falling for 80 meters and being thrown up in the air at the Prater, it's now time for some classical music. We are at Schönbrunn Castle, an amazing location, and Dela got the tickets for a concert of Mozart and Strauss. Let's go inside. Just a few hours before taking the plane that will take us home, we are now in Herengasse, Vienna's most expensive district, and right here, behind me, is Chocolat, one of the best chocolate shops in Vienna. Let's take a look. Prices might look pretty high, but considering it is a top quality product, don't be surprised. They also have bargains sometimes and overproduced prolines are sold for less. So make sure to look for them if you want to save some money. It is now time to say goodbye from Eldenplatz uh, with the National Library in the background. We are now leaving Vienna, so see you next time. Girls? Thank you very much for watching. They're leaving. I'm really sad but happy they came. And uh, see you next time. See you! Op Swiss! Bye-bye. <laughs>